Earlier this year, the International Skating Union passed a rule that allowed professional skaters the opportunity to become eligible for the next Olympics. 1988 Olympic gold medalist Brian Boitano was one of the most outspoken supporters of this rule change. Now he is looking at the possibility of competing again as an eligible skater at the 1994 Winter Olympics in Lillehammer, Norway. People ask me, why do you want to go back into the Olympics? And it's just because I can. I mean, I still have the capability. When I'm 50 years old, I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. I'm not going to be able to use my body and do triple axles and triple sow cows. I'm not going to be able to do that, and I don't want to have to look back and say, you know what, I was 30 years old, and I really had it in me still, and I don't want to look back and say I should have done it. gold medal in 1988, Boitano embarked on a professional career that had him touring for months on end. Known for his remarkable skating ability, Boitano gave it his all in every performance, every night on the road, as if to show the audience that he still had the excellence he displayed at the 1988 Olympics. Now that it's, uh, it's a reality that I probably will be going into Little Hammer. I don't really have that to prove anymore. It's, I, I, can, I can pull back and feel comfortable about knowing that I'll have, I'll, I'll try to prove myself in Lillehammer. I don't have to do it every other time that I get on the ice. Boitano is back training again, along with his longtime coach, Linda Lever. They are constructing an Olympic program that reflects his continuing development as a skater. But the possibility of returning to Olympic ice, having won an Olympic gold medal, and now enjoying a successful professional career, brings about some concerns. I worry a little bit about if the international judges may resent me coming back. Just for the fact that, you know, they feel the American who has everything already, um, you know, well, why, why should he win? Judging is just one of the many factors Boitano must weigh before making a firm decision about his future. It's not something where he has to compete. And it's not something where the rules have to be made for Brian Boitano. The questions that we're raising with the association now are not just specifically for Brian. Hopefully they will help the whole team, whether or not Brian's on them. The decision must be made by April 1st. That's the deadline skating officials have set for any professional skater who hopes to return for the 1994 Olympic Games. The world of skating is changing. Brian Boitano could add another chapter in Lillehammer.